Now that we've unboxed the product, we're going to actually learn how to play the game. And to do that, we've put together some of the Cryptozoic designers and staff, and they're going to walk us through everything that makes Food Fight super cool. We brought a girl in just so that people would know that these games are for girls too, <laughs> not just boys. <laughs> that's important. If we had a kid available, we would have brought him in too, but sadly we couldn't wrestle up. Could have rented one. We walked around the block a couple times, couldn't lure any kids back to the office. <laughs> Probably for the best. So Matt's going to start off, and he's going to talk about what makes uh, Food Fight fun and how we sure. uh, how we play. Sure. All right. Well, we've got the components in front of us now that Corey's broken open his uh, his set. Um, I'm going to be purple. I hope nobody minds that one. Everyone choose a color, please. I want to be red. Uh, red, nice. All right. Nice. All right. The game is for two to six players, but uh, we got four right now, so we're going to put those somewhere else. All right. So the first thing we've actually taken is the uh, plates. So the breakfast, lunch, and dinner plates. Yes, indeed. And those are uh, little pictures of breakfast, lunch, and dinner on the front. And then on the back, they are blank so that later on, you can secretly be choosing a meal. Indeed, indeed. We are, in fact, going to be fighting over the different meals, and the meals are, of course, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And we're going to be doing that using some food troops, as you've probably uh, seen on the packaging, all right? So uh, first thing we're going to do is everyone is going to uh, get a hand of nine cards, all right? We're going to play boot camp style first. This is a good way to learn how to play the game. And Corey, if you could do the honors and uh, give a little shuffle up to the battlefield deck while I'm doing no this. No problem. So battlefields, that's where we're actually going to be fighting. And I showed you some of the cool battlefields when I was unboxing the products like Spaghetti's Bird or the Bay of Pigs in the Blanket. <laughs> So I've now shuffled these up, and because there are four players, that means we're going to deal out three places to fight. Three battlefields, right. If there are two or three players, we'd be only putting two battlefields in. Great. Everyone has nine cards in their hand, but let's see where the battle is going to happen. All here. right. The first place is, remember the a -la mode. That's worth two points, and it's breakfast. We have attack on Pearl Onion Harbor. That's also two points, but it's dinner. And finally, Bay of Pigs in a Blanket one point and it's breakfast. So what we have here is a uh, two of the cards came up as breakfast and then we'll just skip lunch and go straight to dinner, okay? But when we actually make up our armies, you're going to decide using your plates which of the few battlefields you're going to go to. Your army is going to consist of up to five troops. You can have less than five if you want, but five is the best number. Then, no, it's a maximum of five, correct? Correct, it is a so maximum it's of five. A maximum of five, but you can bring as few troops as you want. Right, right. The more the better, but five is the limit. In case you didn't have five. In case you didn't, in case you weren't dealt five, five troops, indeed. Okay, so uh, what we're going to be doing with these cards is building an army, deciding which of the battlefields we want to go to, and then we're going to fight it out one troop at a time and we're going to be scoring uh, after meal mints. The person who scores the most at the end of the battle is going to win those points. The object of the game is to score 10 points, and so obviously these are uh, a good stepping stone towards that. All right? You guys ready? Yep, we're ready. Okay. Your food troops uh, work better at certain areas because of the text on the actual battlefield cards. At breakfast, breakfast troops win ties there. Okay? So that's why it's better to take breakfast troops there. But you can take any type of troop to any type of battle, okay? So, bearing all that in mind, let's build some armies. All right, everyone's ready to go, so let's flip them up and see where we're headed. Dinner. Breakfast. Breakfast. All right. And Corey's to breakfast. Okay. We're all to breakfast except except April. for April. He's gone for dinner. Mm. Okay. Well, uh, as we know, breakfast is the most important meal of the day, and we fight the battles in order: breakfast, then lunch, then dinner. So if you can hold on a second, we're going to be fighting it out. So everybody, shuffle your cards together, and we're going to be revealing one at a time. And here we go. All right. First troop. All right, I got the pancake, cheeseburger, and pizza. Whoa, you like pizza for breakfast? Oh, yeah. Uh, not me. Okay. Every gamer loves pizza for breakfast. Well, now how do we resolve combat? Well, clearly we got to figure out who's the yummiest troop out there. I've got a four. Corey, you're looking at a six. Eight. And you're looking at an eight. Well, let's take a look at... Oh. So what do the troops mean? 
here is a giant example of a troop card. That is a giant example. So as Matt was just mentioning, the yumminess is how we actually determine what the uh, potency of the various food warriors is. So you can see here, Private Pancake has a four. Up in this upper right hand corner on all the troop cards is a little metal with his yumminess and that is the number that you're going to compare when all of the different food warriors fight. Underneath that is gonna be what meal they're associated with. Now all the different food warriors are either on these green, beige, or blue backgrounds and that correlates to the beige, green, and blue treatments for the different battlefields, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So it's really easy to tell and also it's, it's a pancake so clearly it's for breakfast, right? Although I like pancakes for dinner, that's just me. So that's, uh, that's how you determine what their yumminess is to start with. Now the great thing about the game is that there's lots of cool combos based on what the warriors actually do when they get into combat. And here's a good example. Private Pancake gets plus eight for each other Private Pancake in your army. So if you have more than one Private Pancake in that stack, so if Matt has another Pancake, the next time he draws a Pancake, it gets plus eight because there's already one, so that gives him a yumminess of 12. So what's better than one Pancake? Two, three, five Pancakes. The more Pancakes, the better. You're trying to create a stack of A full pancakes. stack of pancakes. Full stack right. of pancakes. How so can you lose? It's not only uh, delicious, it's funny and actually has gameplay mechanics associated with it. Based Couldn't on be better. Based on actual yumminess. Actual yumminess. That's private pancake. Okay, however, despite that uh, excellent presentation, I'm afraid that um, private, private pizza. pizza is actually feeding us right now. So here's the good thing. Uh, let's go over a little bit more text. I have General Cheeseburger. Now the generals, and there's one for each of the meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, are awesome when you get them first because what they say is your other lunch troops have plus four. So what that means is every lunch troop I play after this one gets plus four of their yumminess. You're creating a complete meal. And when right. they lead the charge, you're looking like you're doing pretty good. Right, and that even happens at breakfast. So it's yep, like you absolutely. got a little pulp fiction. So action. I won the round, so I get one of these, right? Yep, you get a scoring chip. And, okay. Uh, all right. So. Go for the second round of combat. Well, well, well. I, in fact, have uh, two pancakes in my stack over here. Two pancakes? Are you cheating? Uh, <laughs> you saw me shuffle. All right. Uh, so, oh, wait a minute. You have a little action over there. Well, I got a Sergeant Sushi. He gets plus four for each other troop with an even printed yumminess in my army. So this guy's got an eight, which is even. So he goes all the way up to an eight. Still not good enough to beat your not pancakes. Good enough, and my I've got guy the full bonus. gets plus four fish sticks and cheeseburgers. Not my uh, favorite combo. Fish uh, fish so right. he gets plus four, so he goes up to a seven. However, my pack stack of pancakes is pretty good. I'm at a twelve. Looks like that token yeah. is mine. Delicious pancakes. Oh yeah. All right, next. Next up. So I've actually got uh, the lowest yumminess printed out there, and that means that I start with uh, my uh, warrior, and then it travels around clockwise from there, but it's always the lowest one that starts the turn. And you can see I have locked and loaded Spud. He is a dinner troop, unfortunately, so I don't get the benefit of cheeseburger, but he has a pretty cool power. Because what do you want uh, on a baked potato other than uh, some other food? So his thing is reveal the top card of the main deck. If it's a troop, it joins the Locked and Loaded Spud. If not, discard it. So what kind of topping will I have on my Locked and Loaded Spud? Let's see. Bacon. Bacon would be good. More fish sticks. More fish sticks. I'm not sure I'm uh, very <laughs> appetized by the idea of the fish stick loaded potato. But the good news is uh, he actually is a lunch troop, so he still gets my benefit because he's now part of my army in a way. So All he right. gets four plus three is seven, plus the two, because he gets added to Locked and Loaded Spud. So now I'm up all the way to a nine. I'm all gonna, right, that, be, that beats my spaghetti, and it looks like your toast is uh... My toast is only a four, but he does say, if my next troop for next round is a breakfast troop, double its yumminess. So, uh, so you're setting yourself so up. So get ready for that, everybody. All you're right, setting yourself up for right. the full combo. However, so I get an after meal mint. Got it. We're all tied up, three after meal mints out there. Everyone all has right, one. let's go to round four. Oh! Whoa. All right, my General Donut uh, showed up a little late to the party. Yeah. Private Pizza. Uh, I'm eight plus four, so I'm at 12. So I've got you beat. You do have me beat, but it looks like your toast uh, is doing pretty well. So my cinnamon roll is oh, starts at a base one, but he gets plus eight when he's fighting at breakfast, which we are, so he's a nine. And my tech toast from last round doubles him, so I double nine to 18. 
So the important thing, that's amazing 18. The important thing to remember is uh, cars that double effects like Tech Toast always include all of the positive benefits that are on that card when it actually, before right. it actually before doubles double it. Right. So whatever the uh, best way to do that math to get you the highest number possible, that's the way it should be done. We always want to make it the, uh, your yumminess as high as possible. Sounds good. Well, I can't beat that either. All right. Two for you. All right. Uh, ben got two. And last round. Let's go for it. Yes. Big bad bacon. Well, my toast is uh, gets a bonus from my uh, general donut for an eight, which bacon beats uh, mean burrito. I have mean burrito. Hold on. Nothing beats bacon. What's more delicious than bacon? Well, I gotta agree. With a mean burrito by itself might not be because it's just worth four. But he says I can discard any number of breakfast troops to give him plus four for each one, or if I discard a frying egg plus eight, I happen to have a frying egg. So you've made the elusive egg burrito. The All elusive right. egg burrito is worth twelve. Twelve does beat an eleven. Okay, guess what? The third token is yours. As are the three points for breakfast, sir. All right. Congratulations. You're on your way. Thank you. You're on your way. Yes, indeed. Okay. You're on your way. You're 10 points total to win the nice. entire food. Nice. Race. All right. So next up is April at dinner. All right. Now, you're the only one. I get it, right? No, nope, Because nobody nope. went here. No, nope. That means you have to fight the dog. Oh. So now we get out the dog deck and we start flipping first. Shuffle up your cards. All right. Shuffle, shuffle. All right. And here we go <laughs> with the dog. First up. Zero, the dog's sleeping. So lucky. Well, I had uh, Mando lucky. steak. Mando steak. All right, that's pretty All right, you. pretty lucky. Right. That dog right. wakes up. The dog. Oh, Ten. oh now you're in trouble. Ah, uh, dark under dinner All right, roll. dinner roll, it's a one, but. But he gets a plus eight at dinner. Not quite. Not quite enough. Didn't quite, not <laughs> quite. The yep, dog does. The dog does. All right, next up. The seven. <sighs> seven. All right, now you've tied. Well, actually, oh, yes. Commando Steak says your privates and sergeants have plus four. Take that, dog. Take in your in your <laughs> dog's that. face. <laughs> so he nice. is a. You'll notice at the beginning of his little thing, Sergeant Spaghetti. Yeah, so that means spaghetti. he gets that bonus. So what did he become? He became a uh, eleven. Yeah. All right. So next up for the dog, the twenty, the big dog. Oh, no. uh, big dog. Come on, what do you All got? Right. General chicken. General chicken. Not quite. Yeah. Not quite there. But a general leads from behind. Not a yeah. General. <laughs> you need to worry. So you got to win this last he round. Is, he's a chicken. He's a chicken. Yeah. I set you up for that. Round. Oh, thank Welcome. you very much. You're Welcome. Welcome. All right, this. all right. Let's do this. All right, all right last. You better win it. Nine. Nine. Aha. A six. Waffles. My waffles. Uh -oh. For each general chicken um, players have in their army, private waffle has a plus six. So you're a 12. I'm a 12. Chicken and waffles, that's your favorite it meal. It is, my okay, favorite. Okay, that's a 12. Guess Chicken what? I won. You got your third scoring token. You Yay. won three out of five. Nice. So nice the, points, job. the points are yours. So you beat the dog. He goes back into his you dog house. Dog. Bad dog. Bad, Bad dog. Bad I, hope, dog. I, hope you're, I hope you're happy. <laughs> okay, well that was boot camp, and you guys saw some of the different cards and some of the different combos, like chicken and waffles there. So I think is everyone ready to try going to war here? So the point yeah. of the point of boot camp was it's it's easy because you get dealt nine cards and you right. just use those cards to build a hand. But that is not what food fight is. Food fight's about going to war. True. And Very let's true. talk about how war works. Sure. All right, well, we're going to uh, reshuffle the deck here, and uh, everyone's going to get nine cards again, but instead of just making the, uh, you're making your army out of troops you're dealt, we're going to be drafting our army. What does drafting mean? Drafting means we're going to be selecting cards uh, one at a time and passing the rest of our cards to our, to our fellow players and making our decks after we have selected a brand new hand okay. of nine cards. So you, you start off with nine cards, you're going to pick the one you like the most, and then you're going to pass the rest of the cards, the other eight, to the person to your left. Correct. The guy who's sitting to your right. And we all do that at the same time. Indeed. Correct. And so you don't get to look at those cards until you've selected the card from the pack that you passed, correct? Right, right. right. You won't know what's coming to you, so you got to use your knowledge of, uh, of what's out there, any, kind of, any particular strategy you have to, to craft the best army you can. All right, so you're going to were... see a lot more cards than just the nine, because you're going to get to see all the cards that your opponents were dealt as well. All right. Most of them. Well, this is the part where it becomes fun because you're starting to really build actively all those combos and all the cool card mechanics really come alive because you're selecting cards that work together specifically uh, to create that really high yumminess number. 